Good evening. I am Josie Medina, Senior Director of Multilingual Services, and it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 2020-2021 Orange County Public Schools Seal of Biliteracy Scholars Ceremony. Former President Barack Obama once said, we should have every child speak more than one language. In an increasingly globalized economy, knowing another language brings opportunities for success. The international business community has identified the ability to communicate effectively in multiple languages as an indispensable tool for relationship building and financial success. The rapid expansion of access to technology is leveling the global playing field and creating an increasingly competitive market for employment. Even with a pool of qualified candidates, employers recognize biliteracy as a valuable differentiator. A recent study has found that two-thirds of employers said that will be more likely to hire a bilingual candidate over a monolingual one. In addition, employees who are fluent in two or more languages earn on average 5 to 20 percent more per hour than an advertised positions-based pay rate. At OCPS, we are committed to providing students with the knowledge and skills necessary to be successful in the 21st century. Some of our viewers may be wondering, what exactly is biliteracy? Biliteracy is so much more than simply speaking two languages. It is also the ability to read, write, and comprehend in two languages. It is understanding when and how to use language to communicate effectively. And most of all, it includes a deep understanding of cultural values and social norms associated with the language's master. To tell you a little bit more about tonight's Seal by Literacy Scholar Ceremony, I would like to introduce the Honorable Johanna Lopez, OCBS School Board Member for District 2. Good evening, I am Johanna Lopez, OCPS School Board Member representing District 2. As a former Advanced Placement Spanish teacher for Orange County Public Schools, I truly understand the level of work and commitment needed for students to earn the Seal of Biliteracy. The Florida Seal of Biliteracy is part of a nationwide academic initiative that recognizes students who demonstrate proficiency in a second language in addition to English. Recipients have completed rigorous coursework in both languages and open graduation will have met all the criteria necessary to obtain this designation on their diploma and transcript. The Seal of Biliteracy recognizes, validates, and honors our rich and diverse language assets. It promotes the development of cross-cultural understanding and benefits employers through the development of staff who are proficient in more than one language. Our goal at OCPS is to be a nationwide leader in the number of graduates who earn the Seal of Biliteracy each year. Tonight, however, we are honoring 100 of those students, five seniors from each of our 20 traditional high schools. Teachers selected these students for their efforts and dedication to learning at least two languages and immersing in different cultures. On behalf of the school board, Chair Teresa Jacobs, all of my fellow board members, and Superintendent Dr. Barbara Jenkins, congratulations to each of you for your accomplishment in becoming bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural. Thank you, Board Member Lopez, for your powerful message to our Seal of Biliteracy Scholars. Tonight, we are honored to have a very special keynote speaker, OCPS alumna, Mrs. Christina Cahill Figueroa Esquire. Christina was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where she grew up with her parents and brother until the family moved to Orlando. After graduating from Cypress Creek High School, she attended the University of California in Los Angeles. During her time at UCLA, Christina majored in political science and performed in multiple theater productions. 
She also interned at UCLA's Student Legal Services, where she was exposed to numerous fields of law, including criminal, civil, real estate, and immigration. After graduating from UCLA, Christina went on to attend Barry University, Duane O. Andrews School of Law, where she was a member of the Phi Alpha Delta Law Fraternity, and where she excelled as an AVA trial team national champion. Christina joined the legal profession in 2011 as a paralegal. And once she became an attorney, she started her practice as a personal injury lawyer, specializing in auto accidents, slip and fall injuries, and medical malpractice. After working for a decade in Central Florida, she and her husband, Michael, opened Cahill Figueroa Law Firm. Christina feels privileged that every day she has the opportunity to combine her passion for the law with her ability to make a difference in a person's life. To her, there is nothing more rewarding than helping children, individuals, and families who have fallen prey to medical malpractice. It is my pleasure to present to you Mrs. Christina Cahill Figueroa Esquire. Good afternoon. My name is Christina Figueroa, and it is an honor for me to speak to you at today's event. First, allow me to congratulate you on such an outstanding achievement. This Seal of Biliteracy Award not only represents your hard work and capabilities, but it also foreshadows the opportunities that are certain to come your way. It was not long ago I was a high school student, just like you, about to graduate. I wanted to study law. I got accepted into UCLA and I moved to California. The school offered an internship program for undergraduate students interested in legal work. Hundreds of students applied and there was only one spot. I remember the grueling interview process and after several days, it came down to just two people, Tim and me. Before we were called for the final round, we were chatting in the lobby, comparing resumes, and Tim had an above average GPA, a nearly perfect SAT score, came from a prestigious high school, while I, on the other hand, had a pretty solid GPA, average SAT scores, and came from a public high school in Orlando, Florida. While I was always a good student, I never really considered myself a standout. Anyway, we went through the process and it was time for them to make a decision. I was sure I had lost the spot to Tim and I completely understood why, but that wasn't the case. I was called and told that the internship was mine. My first reaction was, are you sure? Tim is way more qualified than I am. And to this day, I'll never forget what one of the attorneys told me. She said, Tim was a great candidate, but he does not have one thing you do. He's not bilingual. It was at that moment that I realized, for the first time in my life, the importance of knowing another language. Now, that might have been the first time my biliteracy skill was validated, but little did I know that my ability to speak Spanish would open so many doors for me in the future, both personally and professionally. After a decade of schooling and paying my dues working for other lawyers, my husband and I finally opened our law firm last year. And despite a global pandemic, our business has thrived. Why? Because we offer a service that few other law firms offer, and that is bilingual attorneys. I communicate with my clients in Spanish and speak to the judge in English. And there is no better feeling than reassuring my clients about their case, letting them know everything is going to be okay, and doing so in their native tongue. I bring up my experiences as examples of how this one skill that you now possess has the power to impact your careers and your future, no matter what you choose to be in life, whether you're a doctor treating a patient, a social worker assisting a parent, or an influencer speaking to your followers, your ability to communicate in another language will set you apart in any job market. Remember, we live in the most diverse country in the world. 
different races, cultures, creed, and languages is what makes America great. And in this country, your bilingual abilities will afford you more opportunities, more connections, and a bigger paycheck. As you move forward to the next chapter of your lives, I ask you to keep this in mind. You are ahead of the curve. So take advantage of what this seal represents and go crush your dreams. Congratulations on your Seal of Biliteracy Award. I wish you much success. Thank you, Mrs. Cahill Figueroa, for sharing your message of inspiration and success. You epitomize what our recipients and all OCBS students can aspire to achieve. And now, for the moment we have all been waiting for, the 2020-2021 Orange County Public Schools Seal of Biliteracy Scholars. Let's get started with our Seal of Biliteracy Scholars from Apopka High School. Brittany Antunes plans to attend Nova Southeastern University to earn a degree in nursing and pursue a career in the medical field. Annabel Busto plans to attend Florida State University, major in biology and pursue a career in anesthesiology. Sara Gonzalez Restrepo plans to attend Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton, Florida and pursue a career in veterinary medicine. Gia Rodriguez Benitez plans to attend the University of Central Florida, major in biomedical sciences and pursue a career in pediatric pulmonology. Alondra Soto plans to pursue a career in pharmacology. Now let's welcome Boone High School. Jaira Aristizabal plans to attend Valencia College and pursue a career in the medical field. Alejandro Enrique Avila Caballero is proud to be recognized as a Seal of Biliteracy Scholar for being bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural. Samar Baig has a passion for politics and plans to major in political science and international affairs. She has not yet decided on a specific school. Danielis Marie de Jesus Lavoy is honored to be recognized as a bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural scholar. Diego Andres Portillo Salas plans to attend the University of Central Florida. He is interested in pursuing a career in architecture as well as in the film industry. Next up, we have Colonial High School. Andrea Alas Williams plans to attend a four-year university to major in neuroscience and pursue a career in the medical field related to neuroscience research. Margaret Atencio Fernandez is honored to be recognized as a Seal of Biliteracy Scholar for being bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural. Yurina Elosegui Herrera plans to attend Valencia College. She will then transfer to a major university to continue her education. Jassy Marie Figueroa Martinez plans to attend Valencia College and then transfer to the University of Central Florida. Her goal is to pursue a career in oncology. Aurea Viera Rivera plans to attend Valencia College and then go to the University of Central Florida to pursue a degree in nursing. And now, Cypress Creek High School. Tomas Correa Marin plans to attend Valencia College and pursue a career as a certified firefighter. Nicole Garcia plans to obtain a bachelor's degree in political science and attend law school. She would love to aid in humanitarian efforts or join the Peace Corps. Valeria Lucena Bolivar plans to attend Valencia College, obtain a master's degree in the health field and pursue a career in nursing. Thais Salaberi is proud to be a bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural scholar. Angie Tovar Bastidas plans to pursue a degree in business focusing on the entrepreneurial aspects of cinematography in order to achieve the dream of entering the film industry. Up next is Dr. Phillips High School. Lina Amagu plans to attend New York University Abu Dhabi to major in Arab Crossroads Studies and Social Research and Public Policy. She is interested in pursuing a career in cultural diplomacy, marketing, or anthropology. Salma Bechar 
plans to attend either Florida State University or the University of Central Florida and major in political science. She wants to go to law school, pursue a career in politics, and ultimately become a Supreme Court Justice. Luke Jordan plans to attend Northwestern University to major in journalism, with an emphasis in sports media and a minor in international studies. Joyce Peck plans to attend Vassar College to major in cognitive science and pursue a career in neonatology. Narashibel Verna plans to major in biology and pursue a career in the dental field, specifically orthodontics. Now we recognize East River High School. Brian Barroso plans to continue attending Valencia College and will transfer to the University of Florida to pursue a degree in veterinary medicine. Emily Garcia plans to attend the University of Tampa to major in public health and pursue a career in neurosurgery. Natalie Garcia Salazar is currently dual enrolled and plans to transfer to the University of Central Florida to pursue a degree in nursing. Nicolas Murcia plans to attend the University of Florida. Caitlin Weaver plans to attend Orange Technical College and pursue a career in cosmetology. From Edgewater High School, Matthew Manson plans to attend the University of South Florida or Florida Institute of Technology. Maria Clara Santo Domingo Martinez plans to continue her education but has not yet decided on a specific college or university. Emma Sorensen plans to attend the University of Florida to major in health science and pursue a career in pediatric physical therapy. Kimberly Torres plans to attend Orange Technical College and pursue a career as a hairstylist and become a professional female barber. Christian Manuel Vasquez plans to pursue a career in the chiropractic field. Next up is Maynard Evans High School. Emmanuel Bobron plans to continue her education but has not yet decided on a specific college or university. Giannina Daniels Lahon plans to attend Howard University and pursue a career in film and television production. Ernst Francois plans to attend Wake Forest University, major in general engineering with a minor in sociology and pursue a career in computer hardware engineering. Jason Gerard plans to attend Valencia College, then transfer to the University of Central Florida to pursue a career in civil engineering. Melissa Mond plans to attend Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University to major in business administration and pursue a business administration and finance career. Now we have Freedom High School. Jasmine De Jesus plans to attend Valencia College as a language major with an emphasis in American Sign Language. Maria G. Diaz Bonilla plans to attend Valencia College then transfer to the University of Florida to pursue a bachelor's degree in architecture. David Ignacio Espinal plans to attend the University of Florida and major in civil or computer engineering. He intends to pursue a career in civil engineering working with either hydraulics or transportation. Nicole Franco plans to attend the University of Florida to major in finance, specializing in the financial sector of the entertainment business. Milena Pina plans to attend Valencia College, then transfer to the University of Central Florida or the University of South Florida to major in speech pathology and American Sign Language. Next, we welcome Jones High School. Amarius Aliquaque plans to attend Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University to major in civil engineering. Jadeja Hamilton plans to attend Edward Waters College. In the future, she hopes to attend Howard University to major in theater. Jaleja Joseph plans to attend Valencia College, then transfer to the University of Central Florida to major in accounting and business management. Mackens Mytil is passionate about medicine. He plans to major in biological sciences and enroll in medical school. 
Jessica Scoot plans to attend college to major in biomedical sciences and pursue a career in child psychology. Up next is Lake Nona High School. Rachel Carvajal Palacios plans to attend the University of Central Florida to major in psychology and pursue a career in clinical psychology. Pedro Evangelista plans to attend the University of Central Florida and major in finance. Jonah Meyer plans to attend Florida State University to major in philosophy and music. She aspires to be an attorney as well as a composer or conductor. Lana Melmed plans to pursue a degree in biomedical sciences or biochemistry. Natalia Vasquez Gonzalez plans to attend the University of Central Florida. Now, we move to our Seal of Biliteracy Scholars from Oak Ridge High School. Luis Gerardo Claros Villanueva is honored to be recognized as a Seal of Biliteracy Scholar for being bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural. Claudia Lambert Barroso plans to attend Valencia College, then transfer to the University of Central Florida and pursue a career in nursing. Janice Lopez is proud to be recognized for being bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural. Ricardo Josue Salazar plans to pursue a career as a translator and interpreter, since he is passionate about languages and translations. Brian Daniel Suarez plans to major in mechanical engineering and pursue a career that will allow him to improve upon basic transportation and methods of space travel. From Okoe High School, Mike Bieneme plans to attend Florida Institute of Technology and pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. Amaris Hernandez Diaz plans to attend Eastern Nazarene College to major in intercultural studies and social work. Jocelyn Herrera Ortiz plans to attend Valencia College and Orange Technical College to major in hospitality and culinary arts. Emmanuel Rubio is proud to be recognized as a Seal of Biliteracy Scholar for being bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural. Alani Sierra Hernandez plans to attend the University of Florida to major in chemistry and pursue a career in cardiothoracic surgery. Next up, we have Olympia High School. Beatriz Aquino Petri plans to pursue a career in orthodontics, specializing in helping those who do not have access or the financial means to cover dental anesthetic treatments. Ana Beatriz Cavalcante plans to attend the University of Central Florida to major in biology and pursue a career in the medical field. Pedro de Jesus Forni plans to attend Valencia College, then transfer to the University of Central Florida to pursue a career as a physical therapist. Molly Dell plans to continue attending Valencia College and then further her studies at a university to major in architecture. She hopes to pursue her dream of designing structures that work with the environment and not against it. Hui Oyand plans to attend the University of Florida to major in mechanical engineering. His ultimate goal is to branch out into the fields of electrical and aerospace engineering. Now, let's welcome Timber Creek High School. Camila Brugal plans to attend the University of Central Florida to major in psychology and pursue a career in psychiatry. Isabel Kettler plans to move to Cologne, Germany to pursue a career as a nurse practitioner and become a craniomaxillofacial surgeon one day. Jesus Ledesma Montilla plans to attend the University of Central Florida to major in visual arts and pursue a career within the motion picture industry in software publishing or advertising. Nora Magoob plans to attend Rollins College to major in molecular biology specializing in genetic and epidemiological research. Matthew Restrepo plans to finish his associate's degree at Valencia College, then transfer to the University of Central Florida to major in psychology and pursue a career in the mental health field. And now, University High School. 
Salvador Chacón Hidalgo plans to complete his associate's degree in art from Valencia College, then transfer to the University of Central Florida to major in business and marketing. Jeremy Felicie plans to continue his biomedical sciences studies at Valencia College, transfer to the University of Central Florida to earn his bachelor's degree and pursue a career in medicine. Ilemar Naimier Gonzalez Torres plans to join the Army. Afterwards, she intends to pursue a career in veterinary medicine. Alex Daniel Medal plans to attend Valencia College, then transfer to the University of Central Florida. He would like to open a gym for young athletes. Gabriel Guillermo Rodriguez is currently an active member of the Florida Air National Guard and plans to use his military career to serve his country. He also plans to attend college and earn a degree in business management. Up next, Wekaiva High School. Karina Benitez Arias plans to attend Valencia College or Kaiser University. Emily Castillo plans to attend Valencia College while working part-time. Oscar Garcia plans to attend Emory University to obtain a bachelor's degree in nursing and is also interested in studying abroad. He intends to pursue a career in anesthesiology. Destiny Matos plans to attend Seminole State College and then transfer to the University of Florida or the University of Central Florida. Jangel Sanchez plans to attend either Nova Southeastern University, Stetson University, Berry College, or St. Leo University. Next up is West Orange High School. Valentina Agudelo Perez plans to attend Florida Atlantic University to major in psychology. She wants to help children and teenagers who are struggling with their mental health. Dalia Arias Ordos Goitia plans to attend Florida International University to major in behavioral neuroscience and pursue a career in psychiatry. Peyton Fisher plans to continue attending Valencia College and then transfer to another university to further her studies. She hopes to study abroad in France. Jose Matos Cartagena plans to attend Valencia College, then transfer to the University of Central Florida to major in Healthcare Service Administration. He also plans to attend law school and pursue a career as an attorney. Jack McGarry plans to pursue a career in psychiatry or physical therapy. He has not yet decided on a specific college or university. For Windermere High School, Omar Abwalian plans to attend the University of Central Florida and pursue a career in digital, game, interior, or architectural design. Christian Brown plans to attend Quince University of Charlotte in North Carolina to study secondary education and pursue a career as a high school baseball coach. Valentina Delgado plans to attend Rollins College to major in economics with a minor in business. Her goal is to become a financial analyst. Sophie Graham plans to attend Rollins College to major in English with a minor in psychology. She intends to pursue a career as a mergers and acquisition lawyer. Gabriela Lucas Pires Barbosa plans to attend the University of Central Florida to major in business or mathematics. And now for our final school, Winter Park High School. Dariel Cardona Rodriguez plans to pursue a career in the United States Armed Forces. Victor Freitas Gonzalez plans to continue his education, but has not yet decided on a specific college or university. Stephanie Galante Escobar plans to attend a four-year university and will then pursue a career in therapy for people with special needs. Daniel Guerrero plans to attend the University of Central Florida to major in architecture. Amanda Hernandez Ferraz plans to attend Valencia College to major in humanities or the arts. She wants to work with refugees at UNICEF. Congratulations to all of our OCPS Seal of Biliteracy Scholars. Your language skills and global citizenship will make you stewards not only of biliteracy, but also of different cultures. That, in and of itself, will open more doors than you could ever imagine. 
Once again, on behalf of Multilingual Services, I commend your efforts and applaud your accomplishments. Thank you for watching and celebrating with us.